Welcome to Home Value Estimator Video 9. I'm Debbie Warford with Home Solutions Realty serving the Dallas, Texas area. In Video 8 we went over the repairs being made and what the next step is in the home closing calendar of events. Today we're going to go over what happens after the lender sends out the appraiser to appraise the seller's home. Let's begin. The appraiser will set an appointment to come to the seller's home and the appointment the appraiser will take pictures measure the home to determine square footage, garages measured, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, living areas, dining areas are all determined. If there is a media room or a game room, is there an exterior building attached like a covered porch, outdoor living area, maybe a pool or pool and spa, how old is the pool and all the equipment? The appraiser will look at the home's landscape. Is it excellent, good, average, or poor? Appraiser will check to see the age of the fence, the heating and air conditioning system, the roof, the hot water heater. Appraiser will look for any evidence of foundation problems, mold issues, code violations, electrical and plumbing issues. Appraiser will also look to see if there's a sprinkler system, see if any upgrades have been made. What uh, type of countertop is installed? Kitchen and bathrooms, any upgrades, appliances, microwave installation, plumbing fixtures, doorknobs, flooring upgrades. If tile is installed, in what rooms? Are all ceiling fans installed? After the appraiser leaves, the appraisal on state appraisal forms is submitted to the buyer's lender. These appraisal forms are supplied to every appraiser in the state. All appraisers are registered by the state and are certified appraisers. No appraisal can be completed unless appraiser has an appraiser's license from the state. Wow, the seller has a lot to consider. And let me tell you why. If the appraiser is appraising a seller's home in a neighborhood that the majority of homes have granite countertops, for an example, and this home has laminate countertops, that will be a deduction on the amount the home is worth. Homes close have mostly wood floors, and this home has carpet throughout. Deduction, no sprinkler. Deduction, over 10-year-old HVAC unit. A deduction. All of the items that the appraiser looked at when they were at the home are now considered to be a dollar deduction or a dollar addition to the three closest homes to the sellers. These homes are called comparable souls, or comps as we most of the time call them. These comps must be within ranges that the lender allows for square footage, year built, room count, and sold in the last six months, or common benchmarks. If the buyer purchased the property for, say, $200,000, for example, the appraisal is returned to the lender. Showing the home is worth $200,000, then a big loan hurdle has been accomplished. The lender will not give the buyer a loan without the home appraising for the contract amount. In this case, we have been discussing the uh, previous videos. Did appraise for the amount of contract and all was good for all parties. Next time, we will go over what happens when the appraiser says the home is not worth the contract price. Until next time, to your success.